Muralini Lakshmi Abriyanan, Global Executive Director, Ingram Micro. Hello. It's so great to be here in, uh, in the Qualcomm 5G uh, uh, conference. And uh, I'm going to talk about how Ingram Micro has taken private 5G and implemented it in our warehouse. Let's start from this video here. Throughout our global network of hundreds of warehouses and service centers, Ingram Micro is accelerating our work relative to network optimization while investing in automation solutions and supply chain systems to enable our teams to keep pace with a rapidly changing business environment. With omni-channel sales, especially direct-to-consumer e-commerce volume steadily increasing, our end-to-end -end supply chain capabilities must continue to evolve to deliver the best possible customer experience. Customer expectations are more demanding than ever. Studies show that 45% of e-commerce customers abandon their shopping cart before completing their orders if they can't get the delivery date they need. And 25% don't complete their purchase if unexpected shipping charges are applied at checkout. Our advanced logistics centers were originally designed with our customer stores and hubs in mind. We are now designed to execute around where our customers are. The goal is to offer just-in-time delivery experience with lower freight costs, regardless of whether it's an online, in-store, or mobile order. We're trying to achieve order fulfillment within one hour, 88% of the orders are delivered next day, and 98% within two days. Our new state-of-the-art ALC is comprised of 185,000 square feet of optimized cube design, that leverages the use of vertical space, very narrow aisle design, advanced cart and cubing functionality, advanced robotics, as well as a completely new warehouse management system. The cost to handle e-commerce orders in general is four times more costly than non-e-commerce orders. As a result, our investment in next-gen technologies, as well as a smart design, is allowing us to scale without the incremental costs normally associated with e-commerce fulfillment. With e-commerce steadily growing, Ingram Micro will continue to push the envelope in how we can serve our customers faster, cheaper, and with a higher level of quality than ever before. Ingram, Ingram Micro is the business behind many brands who are here on the stage today. We uh, ship over 1.5 billion units a year. Our net sales is $54.5 billion, and we operate in 61 countries. Our goal is to provide complete full circular economy through life cycle services for our partners, which includes um, advanced solutions, many specialty solutions, cloud, and uh, newer technologies like IoT, AI. We support almost 170,000 customers, which includes system integrators, managed service providers, small and medium-sized businesses, telcos, wars, and more. In order to bring new technologies to market, we have eight center of excellences around the globe. And we adopt new technology to help our partners through the center of excellences to drive channel and market adoption. It's not only about the technology. We also keep monitoring what is happening in the industry. And industrial and smart warehouses are significantly transforming in the last few years. Ingram Micro has been adapting with new technology to serve the needs of our market. So smart warehouse. Smart warehouse is near and dear to what Ingram Micro is. Globally, smart warehouses are going to grow significantly over the next few years to $46.15 billion. Ingram Micro has about 11.9 million square feet of warehouses, or 188 life cycle centers globally. So obviously, 
Making them efficient by using emerging technologies is very critical for our own operations so that we can serve our customers better. So why 5G? We are in the forefront of technology. We are not only trying to adopt new technology for ourselves, we are also trying to help our partners take some of these technologies to market. So in our advanced logistics centers, the, the, we go through high and low seasons of shipment. Technology that we have is dynamically deployed, redeployed, relocated to adapt the needs of what is there in the market. And therefore, we need real-time information from the edge, from the floor, and also to be able to send real-time information to the edge. We need to quickly deploy these edge devices and bring it up to scale wherever it is needed. Diversification of the use cases, and you saw that in the video, you know, all the different operations that we have. We have to have the ability to diversify uh, the type of devices that we deploy and also the use cases that we need to solve in our warehouses. We are adopting robotics, IoT, XR, and other technologies as they come available so that we can improve the operations. This is one of the reasons why we have partnered with Qualcomm on 5G to enable the ability to drive the power to the edge in our warehouses. So let's talk about some of those use cases. Package tracking, that seems very simple. But when you saw the smart warehouses, we start off with Receiving, stacking, packing, picking, packing, and then shipment. And imagine that going through a warehouse, which is about eight, 800,000 square feet large. So tracking a package across a warehouse is very, very critical for us to know where exactly it is. There are very stringent timelines for the packages to reach the customer. So to track some of these, we actually have controllers, pick controllers on mobile carts, which traverse the picking areas. We have scanners that are used across receiving as well as in, um, in the uh, packing areas. And we use many other edge mobile devices to, in the shipping areas. So we are using a plethora of devices which are going to enable us to be able to track one order as it goes through. Imagine, in this point of time, we need real-time connectivity, we need the ability to do roam across this wide space, and also ensure that we are able to track um, the, the package as they get loaded onto the trailer. So package tracking is very critical. It uses a lot of different technologies. And 5G enables us to connect and roam within our warehouse to be able to do that. Instant field support. With the dynamically changing uh, market and, and timing requirements, we have a dynamically sized associated, associate pool. So as new associates come, and, uh, come into the workforce, we need to continuously train them on the uh, processes and, and the areas. So we see a lot of opportunity to leverage AR, VR technology to train the new associates. But not only that, our associates require a lot of support from our supervisors. And imagine walking hundreds of feet to be able to support multiple associates at the same time. So having an AR, VR technology to click and get support from a supervisor quickly is very critical for us to reduce the wait times in the, in the operations. Video analytics is a very critical um, technology which has a lot of use cases within, uh, within a warehouse. High risk area monitoring is one of those where we can apply video analytics to reduce the, uh, reduce the loss of goods in, in the high-risk areas. We can, at the same time, also use when we have large shipments that happen during high peak seasons 
We can also use that to track where the pallets are located in our warehouse because they get packed at different times and the trailers arrive at different times to be loaded. So video analytics has many more use cases and we would see that evolve as we start implementing some of these solutions. And having the ability to have a high stream um, video cameras deployed dynamically, be able to uh, get high uh, quality video across to um, ensure we can implement AI technology to deliver this kind of solution is very, very critical. We have um, many of these uh, warehouses, more than 50% of the labor is used to walk the warehouse, either for put away or for picking operations. So in, in the warehouse, it's very, very critical for us to know where the assets are deployed and how they are being leveraged and used, whether it is associates or it, it is mobile assets that we have that are used for these operations. So, Real-time visibility into these give us a better understanding of hotspots, interference patterns, and also the distance time travel for any particular operation. That helps us optimize warehouse layout. Robotics and automation is the next generation of how we can accelerate our, our um, uh, operations significantly. And some of that you've already seen in terms of our um, uh, warehouse management systems that they have actually brought in warehouse systems which can help significantly speed up using automation. But there are still more opportunities for automation. By using unmanned automatic uh, pallet moving equipment, automatic uh, picking using AGVs, robotic decanting operation to, for put away of newly arrived inventory. All these are newer technologies that are coming out and we are continuously testing them. The rest of the year we'll be testing many of these technologies and they do require higher quality 5G type of networks to help us do that. 5G enables us to get diverse data traffic in the network, quickly onboard these use cases. We've actually tested many of these use cases in just the last six months. So quickly onboard devices using eSIMs, provide reliability in roaming large warehouse spaces, and also have the ability to scale more edge use cases as new use cases and market needs evolve. So how do we do this? So we have a lab where we test and validate some of these technologies. We, we, we package them and take them to our warehouses for testing. And once we've got them tested, we package these solutions, our market-ready solutions. So it's not only solutions that we build for our own warehouses, we are also packaging them for our own um, you know, for our partners to leverage with their customers. We also have something called the Partner Accelerator Program, which can help partners onboard themselves with these two new type of technologies and take it to market. So we are building our partnership with Ingram Micro to drive the promise of IoT by bringing in new use cases, new technologies that we can test and conduct POCs so that we can validate that this works as we take these technologies to our partners. Thank you. <laughs>